Hello? Hello! Hey, it worked, okay. Welcome to Uncle Weepy's Depression Dungeon, the least helpful self-help podcast. Here are your hosts, Paul Armstrong and Jeremy Fuchsa. Joy, say hello. Hello, hello. My voice is fucked up, so. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> There's that going for me. But it's supposed to be cool. Yeah, she she uh, doesn't have enough room on her on her laptop because of all of the Kylo Ren gifts that she has accumulated. So she's deleting files, so she'll have enough room for. So audio. is this Skype to Skype to Skype, or what's happening? Um, so what is happening here is a miracle of engineering. Uh, basically, I had to pull all of the old Shakes equipment out of storage. And uh, we're we're running a very we're running we're running a very very professional. How setup salt here. stained with tears was the box of shake stuff? Well, there was one microphone that was pretty gross. Well, <laughs> um, you keep that to yourself. That's between that's yeah, between you and God. I'd, Come on, I decided to leave that one in the box. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure what happened to it, but it was. It, it had some mineral deposits on it. Uh, when your kid when your kid turns thirteen, son, I want you to come here. <laughs> I want you to come and look at this. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm not sure um, either. I, I I'll, I'll say that I had two ibuprofen and I drank too large of a uh, bourbon. Uh, All right. Yeah. What did you do? Did you get a cold, Joy? Yeah, I'm getting one. This is what happens. It's like my throat gets coated with boogers and I lose my voice. This is getting one? Yeah. I'm going to lose my voice, and then I'm going to start um, coughing up boogers. Oh, you get the mm. all upper respiratory stuff a lot? That's Well, not a lot, but when I do get what? it, yeah. just like four or five times a month. <laughs> no, that's definitely not a lot. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. She drinks some bourbon. That helps uh, knock that s- snot down. I'm drinking wine. wine. I have two... Gigs. So do I need more? What are you on a, a MacBook Air or something? Yeah, oh, yeah. they're the worst with storage. Uh, <laughs> they are. They're I, just terrible. They don't have enough. I can get rid of more shit while we're do you have talking. Dropbox or anything? You need to get rid of all your Autobot porn. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. <laughs> Let's get serious. So so how how's everybody how has everybody's lives been uh like thanksgivings and all that did we all survive oh that's no no start with Paul because he had a shit had a sh- yeah that's that's that that was that was that was that was a bad segue but that was my segue <laughs> that was that was quite the segue uh pun intended uh there's for the last 10 years or so, I've worked with a friend who's a director doing film stuff, uh, writing, sometimes acting, but mostly writing. And there was this girl that we worked with often who was just fantastic. She was bubbly, hilarious, always present. If you've ever done any acting, present is everything. She's just uh, someone that you would, when you would see her, you're like, oh, she's going to be it uh but i learned over the holiday that she committed suicide on thanksgiving day which was just a gut punch in terms of to someone young who knew that she had depression was always volunteering for you know like suicide prevention situations or or causes um very open about her struggles and still even with all of the you know, involvement and, and awareness just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't keep battling it, which is just heartbreaking, you know? And then, uh, we also have a dog that's been having a lot of issues, uh, mentally as well that, uh, she's been attacking our other dogs and she's a very big dog. She's a, a pit mix 
and we just couldn't keep her anymore. She was losing her, like effectively losing her fucking mind. She was attacking. We have a small, like a uh, Dotson Chihuahua mix kind of dog, and she even went after him, and he's harmless and not a threat to her. And we're just like, this is. It was. We. It was like she was causing medical damage to these other dogs, and we're just like, we can't can't keep keep can't keep this up so it was a weekend yeah. of a lot of just shit I a question about your friend who committed suicide yeah he was pretty young right yeah yeah she was probably 28 27 28 I saw her images on your book. yeah she, yeah she's she was awesome like the, there's, she was in a lot of commercials she's a lot of little shorts and movies and was in LA trying to make it. And she was from here in Cincinnati and moved out to LA five years ago or six years ago. And she had been disclosing that she was struggling out there and everyone's like, Hey, you're doing good, better than most people. You're in commercials. You're actively working and just, it's just, you know, if there was something deeper, I mean, obviously she had, <clears throat> mental health issues and she felt like she was true. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't heard anything about what if there's any <clears throat> you know exterior exterior other it, things happening that might have been an impetus I mean you would assume there would have to have been she had a boyfriend yeah. they were doing well I, I mean it's just what sucks is like it's Thanksgiving that couldn't be a fluke you yeah know? Thanks. Like mm-hmm. families around, maybe she felt like a failure. I, I don't know. It's just, yeah. and I, I mean, I didn't know her well. I feel mostly bad for all the people that really knew. I mean, that that's true of anyone. If anyone out there who's ever lost someone, I, I, I understand the struggle of looking for the why, and I'm not sure there always is one. Other than that, sometimes our brains are just broken. Oh, there's a dog yeah. in the background. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean, you were saying that she was doing a lot of stuff for suicide prevention and, yeah. and things like that. So she had done a one you know, woman play about suicide prevention. So it wasn't as if she was not dealing with it, not being open about it, any of that kind of stuff. Well, it just sounds kind of like keeping the wolves at bay, as it were. Yeah. Could you hear that in the background? Yes. <laughs> Literally, in your case, <laughs> fucking dogs. <laughs> no. Was your dog old? No, no, he's like two. Ah, uh, he's just to be a, a dick because he can hear. Oh, me the talking. dog back there, not not the dog. I'm talking. Oh, about the-, the one that raced, the one that we had to put down. She yeah. was like six. Okay, so still not very old. It- no, yeah, I was I was actively wondering because she was a rescue if she had brain damage, like you know about football players and CTE and how they act very erratic and violent. I mean that's literally the way she was acting, like Ow. confused, ev- explosively violent, and then passive and happy and just like all over the place. And it sounds like CTE stuff, but I don't know that dogs get that. Well, how long did you have her? We got her when she was a little over one. We had her for a few years. Yeah, so there's a lot that we don't know about her life. Just, it's, yeah, it was it was just a weekend of, like, bleh, bleh. Yeah. It was nice to, you know, I love cooking Thanksgiving meals. It's, I, I like cooking in general, but, like, Thanksgiving is just, like, a fun, it was a nice kind of escape from... Uh, most of the bullshit happening, but enough about <laughs> my downer. What what did you guys do? We all I know Jeremy went to Oklahoma, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. It. it was good. It was it was very good. We uh, you know, I mean, it was Oklahoma. Uh, the 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 entire world down there is all stained with red dirt, and mm. uh, and it's it's interesting to me how it evokes a certain feeling 
within me. Just, I mean, you, you know, no matter because no matter where you, where you go, you know, the road is stained with the dirt, and the bridges are stained with the dirt, and 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 the cars. No matter you know, no matter how nice or how crappy a car, everything is just all just stained with this red dirt, and um. It was just, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just very, very strange to, um, it's, and, and I'm not exactly sure what kind of feeling it evoked, but it was just, it's, it's just an odd feeling to see all of it. Is that, is that that not, is that new? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, it's, that's just the way, you know, that the, 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 the soil in Oklahoma is all, clay shale it, oh. yeah it's all clay and shale and i mean and there are tons you know a, a whole lot of bricks brick factories oh. are in oklahoma because that's where all the red dirt that makes red bricks comes from and um is that right, is that right? I think they were yes. concrete and they dyed them no 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 i mean I, I mean sure they do some of that yes but um, the, but there does, there does, uh, I, I think Acme brick is one of the, nice. one of the places down there that, you know, now, Jeremy. Wiley Man, but, favorite place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I don't know. It just, it just, it's, it's just such a, it, every day you grow up. Every, nothing feels, nothing feels clean. Ah, uh, I guess that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, um, and, and it's, and it's just so strange that, you you grow up there and you and you don't see it and you and you go away for a year or two and you still don't kind of see it but then after you've gone away for a while it just it's it's all you see and it's in, or at least for me anyway and it, yeah i mean it's just it's it's really interesting that that's just kind of uh weird but that's like the one thing that i latched onto so much was just how just how crazy red Different Everything than other was. other years you've gone. Yeah, it, it seemed to be like a little bit more than than other years. Maybe it had been rainy or yeah. something like that, and so there was a lot of splash and you know and 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 mud tracked around and things like that. But yeah, it was just it was it was very strange. But but the Thanksgiving itself, it was good. You know, um, my wife and I we cooked uh, for well, we we cooked most things for. Um, for for my family uh my 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 dad there's a there's a tiny little grocery store there that smokes meats throughout the week and and they did turkey breasts and oh man oh, that sounds good oh it was good it was good it was good it was good jeremy and so yes ma'am is your wife from oklahoma sort of kind of yes um she she was actually born in olathe and so huh. she she's from around here but then they moved to Oklahoma when she was in fifth grade, I think something, something like that. And so, and so, yeah, that's where I first met her was down in Oklahoma. Oh, so many Does years she ago. This the red soil like you do. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, every, we just, cause that was just the thing, you know, we, we drive in and I guess the other part of it is you drive in in the night and you don't see any of it, and then you wake up the next morning. And you're like, "Good lord, everything is so dirty." What about your, and, you know, and your boys go, "Why is it so red?" Like, do they notice it? Oh no, they they don't notice. They don't notice crap. They, <laughs> <laughs> they don't notice Fair a damn thing. Well, they would notice if everything was covered in crap, though, right? Yeah. They'd be like, well, <laughs> well why I think is they would. Shit covered? Yeah, why, why is everything <laughs> shit covered? Yes, I think if everything smelled bad, I mean, if there was a smell to it, then maybe they maybe visit where I grew seen. up, which is uh, Kennett Square, Pennsylvania area, which is where I grew up, and that's the mushroom capital of the world, and things literally did smell did like shit grow everywhere. In shit. Sure. Yeah. And you get used to it, and everyone's like, like you can see their nose flare a little bit. You're like, oh, that's just the mushroom farm. So then they're like, shrugging like what the hell does that mean like everything around is shit like oh okay, yeah. cool i like, can't yeah, don't worry yeah I, I i catch a good mile or two of mushroom farm or at least shit smell on my on my way home from work every day it's, I, it's, mm. it's the reason i hate mushrooms is because i grew up around how they grew it's like i don't want to eat something that's grown literally in a a burrito of shit you know gross <sighs> That's so sad for you. <laughs> They're also spongy. Is that how mushrooms grow? Yeah. Yeah. In poop? 
Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a it's a it's a spore. It's a mold. And the best way to grow them fast is to have something that's real warm and moist, <laughs> full of bacteria. Moist. It's moist, mm, moist shit. <laughs> but what kind of poop? Uh, it's cow cow typically mixed with like hay and stuff. People poop. I I hope not. Pe- I I do not want to eat the mushroom from people poop. That will be that'll be the day all of us just need to end the world like well now hold on you already said you don't eat the mushrooms so well can you imagine though going to like in some artisanal restaurant like oh what's this like this is uh bob's mushroom this is from his shit (laughs) 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 we grew it in the bathroom oh you you know there's 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 a mar- the thing is though is there there's a market for that if there you can, absolutely if you can, is if you can sell Portland. super expensive coffee <laughs> that has been shit out by a weasel you can certainly sell Bob's yes, mushroom. The, the, it starts with the K I can't remember yes, I know, I know it's, it's not Kuala Lumpur but it's something um, like that yeah yeah that, yes. hey you know what I'm wanting to make some money let's do it let's go for it. Who wants to gather? Who shrimp. wants to? Who wants to get a baggie and pull their shit out of their toilet? And I think I think that finding the 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 mushroom seeds is harder than the than the than as the a non mushroom connoisseur. What mushroom would you go and grow in human shit? You just they just well, form. You don't have to get seeds. Not yeah, so not really seeds per se, but like the the powder that you know if you hit hit yeah. a certain kind of mushroom and then this like spore cloud. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking. They're little well, vents that they got. I, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. If you if you're gonna do a human shit mushroom, um, I'm gonna say portobello because they're already beefy flavored, <laughs> and you're really really gonna accentuate the. Uh, the meatiness, especially if you get somebody who eats a lot of tacos. Jeremy, <laughs> you can give it your own name. Like mine is the mushroom joy. The mu- <laughs> the mushroom joy. Okay, what's what's mushroom joy going to be? It's going to be a mushroom that I grew on my poop, and then I sell it. <laughs> well, I know that, but like, what kind of you? You, what you know, this, yeah, it's like we're doing crossbreeding here. You I know, mean, so like you, we're you, you, missing the obvious. It's the shiitake mushroom grows in human shiitake. Yeah, no, ah. it's a totally new breed. It's a new breed of mushroom. A new breed? We have to come up with a new name for a human shit shit room. It's not a room. It's a mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh, I get it. <laughs> did you know this is a complete ah. aside? But they use mushrooms now to to form new kind of building materials. Apparently. Like they can use mushroom spores to grow a, like a particle kind of car- particle board, like a, like a concrete. Oh, like a particle board. Yeah, yeah. Like like it's a new building material. Well, that's a completely that's a completely different aside. I don't think human shit will be able to grow mushrooms that we can. Well, maybe maybe we should call Kevin Costner and ask if he wants to make a movie <laughs> that you know you did Waterworld. Let's uh-huh. think about a world where human <laughs> shit is growing mushroom building shit materials. Shroom ward. <laughs> no, skip the mushroom. Just use your poop to make something, to make a building. Well, like, like, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some references for this because, like, what kind of, uh, what kind of tinsel strength does a shit shroom brick have? No, Jeremy, you're not understanding. You don't need references because these are new, innovative, forward-thinking things that have never been done. Disrupting the uh, disrupting the shit shroom building. As long world. as you put the uh, the word disrupting in, I'm on board. That's right. I mean, yeah, yeah. you just dis- yes, we're disrupting. disrupting it. We're disrupting. Sh- we're disrupting the food industry with human shit. Mm-hmm. We're disrupting the construction industry with mushroom human shit buildings. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's 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 sustainable because we're still here. Very environmentally. Friendly. It's 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 wise. It's just it's actually not just wise. It is morally imperative that we do this. Well, you know, I, and and I'm thinking, I, I, let's let's take it a step further. So, I mean, if we if we've got the shit shrooms, and we do something like like pukecados. Like you know, avocados grown in puke, and then you Garf. do, bu- and, and then you do the bug flour to tor tor to torla to torla chips, God. tortilla chips, tortillas, 
<laughs> I said to Torlas. <laughs> Maybe do this. So okay, so 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 tell me, Joy, Joy, what do, what do you what do you bring into the table here? <laughs> are you bringing are you bringing science chat? Like, because 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 we 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 break this up into you know segments. Do you have like a segment that is like near and dear to your heart that you wanna that you wanna kind of? I have some notes. Notes. Okay. okay. All right. So <clears throat> number A, just thank you for number inviting a. me and remember that. Oh, thank you for inviting me. Well, it, well, of course. Can you not hear me because I, of my. No, I can, I can hear you, but this, this iPhone five S sucks. I am going to have, yeah. I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. That, that is bullshit. Joy, Joy got the short end of the Skype. Stick yeah. Today. They, you keep cutting out. Unfortunately, I keep yeah. missing the beginning of what you're saying. Yep. It's not you your fault. Now. So My maybe fault. just hum for a second and then say what you want. Yes, yes, I can. Mm, I I have more notes. Mm. So mm, this is a self help <laughs> podcast. Mm. Sort of. Well, okay. e- e- loosely speaking, yes, it is a self help podcast. Some ideas that I would like to discuss that could help people like yourselves. Oh, I don't know if there's anybody that can help. So I, you know what? But if I feel that if there is anybody that could help, could be you. Yeah. That's that's why you're here. Mm, you don't, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, maybe more than likely you already had some sort of podcast on this. Mm, but <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel like since you wanted a female presence, the best thing that I can bring to this first self-help situation um, is recognize <laughs> that it's a very difficult time to be a man. Yeah. That it's a very difficult time to be a man. Yes. According to our president and trying to help guys. So, so true. Through the understanding that you can't still talk to a woman and not go to jail or be accused of rape. Mm, I get <laughs> now you're just starting to sound like Sling Blade. <laughs> I think that it really helps men understand that it's a, the difference between a compliment and sexual harassment. Well, you know what? I think that's very helpful. Because yeah. because I do think that there are a lot of people who are who are very afraid of that type of thing. Yeah, and yeah. It's, that's dumb. Okay, tell you're us about that. You're the victim. You're the one who's it put in a hard place because of people like me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, is it too deep? Is it going too far? I'm telling. You this no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So if I were so, but but I mean you know, but you're still not advocating for you know going mm, nice tits, gorgeous. I mean you know oh, that's not okay for, for men to be like, well, I didn't mean it that way. It's like, a, right? That's the whole. Of course you did. Is that you need to realize that even though you didn't mean it that way, it fucking sounded that way. No, I'm pretty sure that if you said nice tits, yeah, gorgeous, it, it it, you the shit it. or the shoot, it's I'm like, if you're around someone or a situation and you know you shouldn't swear, then you say, well, shoot, I need to figure this out. You don't, well, shit, I need to figure this out. That's actually an interesting point. The contextual part of, well, speaking, you're speaking of language specifically, you, you monitor your language based on your company. Whereas if you know someone well enough, you can probably tease them in a way that might seem over the top sexually inappropriate to some people, but it may not be given your relationship to the person. Is that what you're implying um, or, or saying? Maybe not to the person, but if other people are around, you probably shouldn't do it. Like everyone right. knows. That's contextually, right. But when I go to a new client meeting, I don't drop F-bombs because it's just like, I don't know what these people like, even though Four people from my team are here. Okay, you know, on that note, I'm going back to now what I had said. Now, I get the feeling you guys don't want to talk about it. 
What do you mean we, we don't want to talk I want to know if you're being sarcastic or serious. No, I am serious. Okay. I, and it's a very, it's a difficult time to be a man as if the men are victims because finally women are coming forward and saying, you can't do that and you did it and you can't jerk off in a plant or on me if I don't say it's okay. I guess, I guess the pro the, the problem that I'm having is, is that the fact that you're actually saying that it's a difficult time to be a man. No, our president because, said that. Our fucking well, I don't really yeah. fucking care. He's making, he because he's making men victims. And there are a lot of men that feel that way. Like, oh my God, I can't even say you look nice today. It's like, yeah, you can. But how about you don't give me the scan eyes while you do it? Well, that's why I'm asking if you're being serious or being sarcastic. Because what our president said, whatever our president oh, says is yeah. bullshit. I don't know that he's ever said anything honest. Or no, not uh, sorry, sorry, not honest, truthful. He's being honest when he speaks. He's not always being truthful. There you go. Fine it, distinction. That people, children, are like he's supposed to be a fucking role model, and he's taken this whole situation where women are trying to and feel empowered and turned it into how men are the victims. Right, that's bullshit. Honestly. I, I did. I went on a whole rant about that of several episodes ago. I don't know if it was on the after show or in the live show, but how basically if I were ever to be accused of sexual harassment, my first response would be, I'm so sorry that I put you in that place. Can we talk about what happened so that I can make it better and, and resolve whatever's happened? That would be my response, yeah. which is because, like you said, Everyone has a different response to the language that's being used. I might not have thought it was being inappropriate or, or, or that I was acting in a way that was inappropriate, but someone else might have received that way. Therefore, I should be open to hearing someone's right. feedback. Right. Right? Dialogue is the only way to get to any kind of solution. Yes. And our president, like you said, is like, oh, men are just now... It's not good to be a man anymore. I'm like, they're victims yeah. because you never know yeah. which of us women will accuse you of raping us because that's, that's what we do. So what do you think, Joy? I don't know if you know who Chris Hart, do you know who Chris Hardwick is? No, sorry. He, he was the host of the, like the at walking dead after show. Hey, ooh, nope. I know. I know she does. Okay. I'm going to tell she you. She does. Okay. Remember, uh, in the nineties MTV singled out with Jenny McCarthy. Yeah. yeah. The guy. Okay. <laughs> so he's go, like boom. kind of a media empire now. Like Nerdist is this the big podcasting empire that he started, and he does. He used to do at midnight, which was on Comedy Central, and he got accused by his girlfriend of being pretty sexually abusive, like controlling of her, demeaning of her. She really she wrote this whole big medium post about it, and everyone. Well, not everyone. A lot of people were like on her side, like I believe her and all that stuff. He came back and said that she's crazy and that none of it happened. Were they together at this time? No, she wrote it after yeah. the fact. Like she said, like he wouldn't, he didn't like her having a career or looking too pretty for other people. Like, it was all, it's, it was a big hullabaloo. And he had sort of a minor fallback of like they postponed his show for a while and kind of pushed him on the back burner, but he's back in a big way mm -hmm. because he denied, denied, denied. Like the, the problem is, and I think this is universally the problem that we saw in front of our faces with Kavanaugh is that when you, people have some sort of expectation of resolve when it's a, he said, she said, and that's impossible. There's no way there's any good solution to having two people say opposite things that happen. What, how is there ever going to be a resolving of like, this is what I experienced. Someone else say, I don't think that's what happened. That depends on what your celebrity status is, honestly. Yeah, that's true. Or your, your income level. Yeah. yeah. Cause like my yeah. first husband, he got divorced and it, that was a, he said, she said, but I was much more famous yeah. than him. So I won. And ugh, don't get me started on Kavanaugh. That was a, I, it was a Thursday, I believe, because I usually stay home from, I work from home on Thursdays. And I remember watching that and I literally f felt sick. He fucking destroyed himself. He should not have been, uh. Yeah, apparently he didn't yeah. destroy himself because he is now a Supreme Court right. justice. Because 
rich white men rule right now. Well, they're dying and they're doing their last, their best last grasp of, I'm relevant, damn it. It's a great time to be alive. It's a difficult yeah. time to be a man. Just remember that. I know. It's so hard for me to have that job that pays more than most everyone else to be given every benefit of the doubt. It's tough. Yeah. If I get pulled over, I God, I'm so afraid of maybe not getting a ticket. But anywhere you go, there are women. And if you say hello. Yeah. If I open the door for her, she's going to say that I was looking at her butt and I'm going to go to jail forever. Uh, fuck. Should I offer her my 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 butt cheese mushrooms? Should should I do that? Would that be inappropriate? Ask her to come to your poop farm. This is free range shit. It just grows all over my backyard when I go out there to poop. And guess what? These mushrooms come up. They might be hallucinogenic. Want to try? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they've got uh, they've got lovely undertaste of a uh, scotch. Okay, can I just give a quick example? Because come on, you guys, people. They want to know about the self-help of the man guy. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> they don't, but I just want to give a quick example. And I'll just say, even my little brother had an issue with this. Can you believe that shit? I'm more popular than him. Well, I mean, I've, I've never heard of him, so there you go. Now, the one in the Air Force is everyone's favorite. Oh, yeah. Challenge, challenge coin boy. <laughs> But I want to make a point. Like, you can compliment a woman. Look her in the workplace. Look her in the eye and say, you look very nice today. Or you look very professional and nice today and walk away. The sexual harassment part is go out of your way to go in her office. She's sitting. You're standing up. You're looking down at her and say, wow, is that new lipstick? I really like it. Well, because then you're in a power position. Dude. For one, one thing. For one commenting thing. commenting on my lips. Well, Lipstick right. all of a sudden. And this has happened to me at work. I'm like, what the fuck? You don't get to. Doesn't it depend on the person you're saying it to? Because couldn't you say that to someone? Not the lipstick part, but the you look nice today and they take it the wrong way. I'm sure that they could, but I feel like. I'm trying to give advice in how to best deliver it. If you really feel the need to compliment someone. So could I say you look really like a man today with that? Look them in the eye and don't say you look, you look pretty. I like your makeup. Say you look very nice. You look very professional. So be g generic is better than specific. Because makeup is something that is personal like i'm using it to okay. try and make myself look and feel better for the outward okay. world and the idea of you commenting on it especially the lipstick means that you notice my lip and that's mm, so don't be specifically pointing out specifics about someone like don't point out eyes or what about hair is that you know weird? if you're close with them, if you're close enough with them I, like you would, you might say to a guy coworker, "I like so your said, haircut." Say right, that to a woman, right? Or, or your hair looks stupid today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I mm. okay. So it's when it goes it, when it gets more intimate features. I mean, I like. There's obviously there's a line between are the eyes intimate? Obviously, the mouth is. Hair isn't, but again, I feel like you have to kind of weigh the person you're talking to which can be hard because you don't know okay. them well right which i wouldn't i wouldn't ever say to someone i didn't know well because why the fuck would i but listen like makeup is intended to be a subtle thing so don't comment on it it's if you you notice it like unless i'm suddenly in costume it's not intended to be would, would you ever compliment a guy? Would you ever say, hey, I like the way you uh, pluck your eyebrows? I hear, like, my tendency is I don't really compliment anyone, guy or girl, on their looks just because... No, that's smart. It's weird for me to do that in any regard because it's odd. I will comment them on their work ethic or what they've done, yes. not what they present themselves as because why the fuck should I do that? 
now with my wife and my daughter, completely different because we're family and it's more about making them feel you see. empowered and worthy or loved or whatever you want to say. Oh, that's totally different. Yeah, it's totally different. It's contextually completely yeah. different. But just like professionally, I'm really kind of mostly speaking professionally. Well, professionally, I feel like, why should I comment on anyone's looks professionally? What the fuck? Exactly. And women are not looking for anyone to comment on their looks. Like, if you wouldn't say it to a male counterpart at work, then don't say it. Well, I don't know that that's such a great (laughs) rule. At least where I worked previously, they said all sorts of shit to you that you're like, God damn, why would you ever say that to me? That's the worst. But that's not a general... That's probably on the outlying of what guys would say to each other, but guys will say some pretty horrible, weird shit to each other just to get in your head. Okay. Maybe I'm maybe I'm speaking out of turn. Do you, have you ever noticed that, Jeremy? I can yes. or just yeah, just weird. Like guys will be assholes just to get in your head. I mean, maybe that's just my experience with them, but yeah. I mean, we haven't talked about that yet, but that's my previous workplace of my co-founder was quite the i mean assholes uh, understatement but yeah he would i mean, I, th- I, I out of the blue talking with some employees we were just talking about stuff and we we're i don't remember i don't know why it came out of my mouth like fuck why did i say that like yeah one time my my co-founder just grabbed my dick and held on to it for a while like he grabbed my crotch and held on to yeah. it for a while and i'm like oh fuck why did i just say that out loud you 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 had you were in a bro grammar yes, culture quite yeah where you know I was made to feel like I, I felt like I was per- battered like he battered any female because I didn't join his side. Like he would just berate the females and he berate me because I wasn't on board with his broness. Oh, well, that is so. It can happen. It, the sexual harassment can happen. Men, man, did he man, really man. grab you and hold your wiener? Yeah. He he cupped my 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 balls and just held there for a while to see oh, what I would that's do. That's fucked up. That's not okay. No, are you not. supposed? No. He did it all the time, and he would hug me, and he would hug me for a long time. Get right up to my ear and go, "You smell good." Did it all, the dude. Time. I don't, I don't, I don't think that he was trying to get into your head. I think he was trying to get into your. No, pants. he was being a dick. But <laughs> pun not intended. But uh, but what I'm saying. Hmm. Is you gotta realize you don't have to put up with that shit, and that is what. No, like but I do. but I did. So that's why, like, I guess I feel like I I I understand the Me Too movement in some little, very minuscule way, very small. I understand that. Oh, woe is me! I'm a guy. I've had all of the breaks. No, you, you, because what happened to you should not be happening either. No, and I did nothing about it because. He was, I mean, when he's a co-founder, I'm just like, ah, he's just being an asshole, which is true. But I'm sure, I mean, sure women go through the same thing. Like, he's just being a dick. He's just trying right. to we'll control, control me in some regard. I'm going to ignore it. So then we yeah. at this point where people are speaking out. And that's when it becomes a very dangerous yeah. time to be a man in America. <laughs> it's so. so dangerous. I'm 100%, uh, 100% me too, always. Mm-hmm. I will believe I will believe a woman first because why the fuck shouldn't I? Right. That's another thing that I see a lot is like, well, why why just automatically believe a woman when she accuses a man? And it's it's hard for me to articulate why, other than that, more often than not, they're right. Well, it's just not something that most when most people who aren't looking for attention would make up. Yeah, what's going to benefit you to make that up? No benefit. If anything, you'd probably get fired, wouldn't you? Um, I mean, like in a workplace situation, if you went to HR and complained about an employee, what? I mean, I guess today it's a little different than it used to be, but even five years ago, what do you think? Get fired, but I can tell you because I've been in this situation where I mentioned it and the guy got fired and. I got looked down upon by other people in the office because it, in their eyes, I got him fired. Like, like, like you made it up. Um, I don't think it's that people thought I made it up. I think it was just like, why can't you just roll with it? Why can't you just go with the jokes? Right. 
just deal, just deal with it. It's life kind uh, of thing. More like, oh my god, he was this flirt with you. You should be flattered. See, this is why we need you on the show because you just add insight that we do not have. You know what, Paul? Thank you. Because that's just that's just, but that's just horrifying yes. to think that. Uh, I'm sorry that happened to you. By the way, I'm a white chick. I can't even imagine how you know how much worse it would be. Yeah, I mean, we experienced that with my daughter, and she is she when she was 14. She we transferred schools and there was this boy that she sort of liked, but he was a real asshole. He he like forced her hand oh. onto his crotch and did all sorts of stuff and she slapped him and she got in trouble. Trouble for slapping we, him. My my wife and I had to go down to that school and talk <laughs> to them about what happened. And the principal said, well, I don't know you as a family, but I know this family, so I'm inclined to believe him when he says that it oh, didn't happen. Oh, fuck that. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Fuck and the that. response was, your daughter is a disruption, so we're going to suspend her. And we're so, like, we're out of this. Disruption. She reacted to someone yeah. sexually assaulting her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. And this was like three years ago. And that's just... Yeah, so we left that school. We left that school too sweet. <laughs> And they're like, it, it was it was just a wow. horrible situation all around. Because then the family of the boy threatened to sue us because our daughter was harassing their son. And I, I didn't have any money. I'm like, the oh, fuck. I mean, so it starts young. It's not just it's not just professional. I will say it's it is at least in Kansas City school districts. It's gotten better. This was a private school, so it's not totally surprising that they right. fucked it up. But, just disappointing. Yeah. And, yeah, but I imagine other schools deal with it and probably don't deal with it well, like what, with the Brock Turner bullshit. Like, well, he's a star athlete, and we don't want to ruin his life. Oh, uh, that makes me so mad. Doesn't it? It's, And it just keeps happening. You're just like, the fuck? <sighs> Well, the world's burning anyway, so who gives a shit? Let's just eat our poop mushrooms. I say, I say we have a cottage industry just waiting. The best would be if we could do poop mushrooms that were hallucinogenic, right? And you know what? In our poop world, no one gets harassed. You know, I, I think I think that's I think that's the next thing to come down the pipe. That's the next thing to come down the pipe. You know, literally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Patton. You know, because I mean, we've we, we've done a good job uh, getting the marijuana all around the st- all around the nation. So the next thing needs to be hallucinogenic yep. poop shrooms. I'm telling you, <laughs> eat my human hallucinogenic shit shrooms. It would be quite the quite the marketing potential oh, right tell there. Me about it. You sell the package. Oh. You sell the 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 experience. Like we're going to take you on a you know, a pleasure quest through. Well, yeah, and you, you know, you, and you've got to, you've got to, you've got to take them in an order. <laughs> you st- you start, you start with Bob, and and once you feel Bob starting to plateau, then it's Jennifer, and you know, and then you ride the wave all the way Please into Antonio. Word, it's sans permay, no permission. Ride that. You smell good. Why don't you smile for me? Ugh. That's. That's fucking disturbing. I, I, I don't what know is? what you're talking that, about. Grabbing your balls and smelling good. That's really I have weird, so man. Many story, I have so many disturbing stories that I am still unpacking about my I time. Do men, that is so that I, that other men weird. or women yeah. give a shit about their penis or their balls. Like, dick pics. Give me a fucking break, man. They're weird looking. That's all they're no, like. They're just, I've had my, guys send me a dick pic. I'm like. What? Are you shitting me? No. I just, I, I just, when, I just when, when have insane. you gotten dick pics? Like lately? And I, this is when I was not married for the second time. I was in between, whatever. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. And he sent it, and I was like, fucking with him. I was like, how do I know you don't just have this pic on your phone? And he sent another one, and it was just like, <laughs> with the paper next to it that said joy. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Please tell me you saved that. I wish I had. <laughs> because that's the perfect, that that's be the the perfect album art? art for this. I know, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Introduce no one joke. wants to see that shit. <laughs> well, I would blur out the dick, but I mean, come hey, on. Here it is with the sticky note oh, with your shit. name on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I always think with image recognition at this point, shouldn't we have mess like messaging through Snapchat or iMessage that this is a dick. Do you want to receive this dick? Well, and I, like give the women permission of like, yes, it's fine. Send me the dick or no, thank you. I, I totally oh, thought that there wonderful. were some apps that, that had dick detection. Are there? Yes. Yes. yes I think this is snap- why the used ones. It should be an add on. No, that you don't I, have I, do, to. I do think that like Snapchat has got dick detection to try to. To curb down on the dick. Yes, yes. I'm going to have to research. I'm going to have to research this, but I swear that I feel that that some of some of the more. I'm I'm almost certain that that um, Instagram has dick detection. Well, because what it ought to be actually is if you decline, it should send a test text message back that this picture was sent to my local police and put like a uh, the name of them and who they are with your name attached to it. like that would be so good just so you know like just to put the fear of god oh, in those people yeah don't that won't scare them it probably will make sure they're like, oh, that's cool across the airwaves i mean when did we turn into a country of nothing but beavis and butthead my well you know what that's that's a great question and I and I think I listened to a podcast on the way home that told us when that was. When was it? Nineteen ninety seven. Um, no, it was before. It was before it that. It was. Uh, it was. It was. Ba- it was. It was. This American Life, and basically, oh. it, the whole thing was. Uh, you know, when did kind of everything go to shit? And yeah, uh, it was Newt Gingrich. Yes, and I so, heard that one. Yeah. Yes, the contract with America. God yeah. damn that thing made me mad. God, I hate Newt Gingrich. Yes. At the time, though, when he was around, I was Republican because my parents were. That's right. I just did whatever they did. So I was all over that, like, oh, he's he's great. And I used to listen to all that because my mom did, but I listened to all the bullshit. Yeah. And I have 180, just like, fuck all that. Well, it's- and and even like in the in the middle of, of all that, because cause that, that episode talked a lot about Rush Limbaugh and all that stuff. Yep. And at the time, I worked at a uh, AM talk radio station that ran Rush Limbaugh. And, you know, I would run the satellite feed and, you know, I I didn't give a shit about anything or, you know, whatever. And I didn't have any beliefs or views or anything. I was like, this guy's funny. <laughs> you know. Hey. You guys. Oh God. Mm. <laughs> About <laughs> having a female. Are you are you doing a shit mushroom? Is that what has happened with them? You asked me to hum before I talk. I know. I was. Oh. I'm just kidding. Mm. Another thing about having a female on your show, especially when the Ted kids, I have to go to the bathroom, and I'll be right back. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess it would probably be not cool to ask if we could listen. Uh, right? That would be. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <sighs> Do you have questions or topics for the show? Call 816 535 one zero nine four and leave a voicemail or reach us on twitter at uncle weepy if you enjoyed this show first rate and review the show on itunes google play or wherever you get your podcasts your review helps the podcast robot suggest this show to other listeners second consider supporting the show on patreon patrons of the show get access to exclusive after show material Several levels of support are available. Visit patreon.com slash Uncle Weepy for details.